Section 3, Paragraph Editing, Lesson 15, Creating Styles. Although there are many formatting styles available by default, it's possible to create others. Styles can be created from scratch, or more usually, they can be based on other styles. In this lesson, we've been asked to open the document summary. Um, I've already made some changes to it. I've put in a main title of computer applications, and for each of the four paragraphs, I've given subheadings. So we've got databases, word processing, spreadsheets, and presentations. Now, select the main title and then select the styles launcher now the styles launcher will either be a floating panel or alternatively it can be fixed to the side like like this um, I'm going to just leave it as a floating panel because then at least I can see my buttons at the bottom fairly easily okay select new style and then change the name to main head don't put any spaces in we need to be a bit careful when we're giving names to these because there's some characters it won't accept mainly special characters we're also going to make sure that the style type is set to paragraph and also that the style is based on normal now in the middle section the formatting section we're going to change the font to something similar to Arial. So I'll go for Arial because I've got it available. I want to go size 14, bold, and also I want to use this button to centralize the text. And at that stage, press OK. Right, now we'll find that this particular heading is in the style main head and is exactly as we've set it up. We're now going to deal with the text of the four different paragraphs. So if we click in the first paragraph of text and we click the this button for the new style again, this time we're going to call the name of it text and we're going to base it on normal. The font I'd like to make Times New Roman, which it currently is anyway, and I also want the font size to be size 12. We want to set the alignment to justify, which is this one here, so it's going to be, I don't know if you can see over here, in your example everything's lined up on the left hand side but it isn't on the right hand side. If I click on the Justify button, what it'll do, it'll spread out the words so that you can virtually draw a straight line, a straight line down the left or down the right. What I also want to do is to increase the indent, which is this button here. And what this will do is it'll set the left indent at 1.27 centimeters. Okay, as you can see, indented in the preview. Okay, so that seems to work beautifully. What we then want to do, move on to the next paragraph text and change it to text. We then want to go to the third paragraph, click anywhere in it, change it to text. We want to go in the fourth one, again, change it to text. Okay, now we're going to deal with the subheadings. So what I'd like you to do is to highlight the word databases and what we're going to do, we're going to use the font group to format the text as Arial, Bold, Italic, 12 point. So, to do this, we, as I said, we're going to use the font group. So we're going to go for, in the this section here, we're going to go for Arial. Bold italic and we also want it to be 12 point which is already set as next on this side I want to go for the new style let's call it subhead because it's a subheading click OK and now whatever would set this as up here 
is now included within the subheading um, specification. So, in other words, what we can do is go to word processing, change it to subhead, it's going to be precisely the same formatting as databases. We go along to spreadsheets, select subhead, same. Presentations, subhead, beautiful. It is also possible to create character styles which only affect the text itself. So first, th first point, make sure that no text is selected. So I've selected over here, there's no text being selected at all. And I'm going to go for the new style button. I'm going to make a style called red. And this time, instead of the style type being paragraph, I'm going to go for the drop down and select character instead. In the formatting section, use the drop down list to select a colour of red and also select the underline option. At that point, press OK. Now, here's the clever bit. If I now s highlight the main heading, which already has formatting associated with it, if I now click on red, it will not change anything that already existed. It would just add to it the fact that it's red and underlined. So the existing paragraph style is retained. It's just adding the fact that it's red and underlined. OK, what we're being asked to do now is to save the document as applications and then leave it open for the next lesson. So I'll leave you to do that. I'll finish it off here. Applications. Save. Right, I'm ready for next lesson now.